channel where we're all about leveling up, elevating, and living our absolute best lives. And today, guys, we are living. <laughs> in this particular property video, we will be exploring properties here in Jinja, part of the Exploring Jinja mini series of a mini series of the Moving to Africa series. Um, and just from the little I've seen so far, I am pleasantly surprised. So today, Peter of Now Properties will be showing us three different homes and two different pieces of land. And you guys can get your dream on and decide how you're gonna come and just live it live it here because guys can someone buy me this one i know every episode i say that but no really really and truly <laughs> anyway let's go check out these properties okay guys so this particular property sits on a quarter of an acre you literally have views to, of the Nile. It's absolutely gorgeous and breathtaking and you guys know how much I love my views. So I had to intro this video with a property of just views. So first we're gonna check out the out exterior area. We're gonna check out the main house and income property. Yes, I said income property. So let's go check them out. So I'm sitting here at the gazebo, very nice quiet, serene, um, just beside the main house. Obviously part of living your best life is a comfortable life. So I love the garden. She, the owner did a fabulous job with the exterior. There's plenty of greenery, little bits of flowers everywhere. It's so, so serene. I could just picture myself with my book out here living, literally. But as much as it's nice to be outside, let's go inside and check out uh, the fabulous job she did. Welcome to my ginger house. <laughs> Come inside, guys. you are greeted with a dining room area and a living room area it is so airy you guys and I think my favorite part besides the view of the Nile is the ceilings it is so gorgeous they're like I, I need to like get my interior design terms on but <laughs> um, it's a it's giving me log cabin vibes and it's I love the all white you guys know I love an all white because it makes melanin pop so it has that theme going out throughout the house and I just love the open concept. Behind me is a little nook and a walk area to the two bedrooms. So the entire house is two bedrooms with two baths and a really gorgeous plus bonus area up top, which we'll check in a few moments. So let's go see the bedrooms. Bedroom. And what I love the most about doing my house tours is seeing interior decor and how people play around with it. And it's not often a thing in Kampala, often because I'm doing like um, units that are being constructed. But um, this particular one, you can see a theme and an aesthetic going on throughout the house, literally the whole property. So behind me, uh, you can see there's a different stone wall. It's not like the usual white that you see that she had going on, but there's a really, really nice stone wall going here. And I actually like the aesthetic. I'm a, I'm a bougie girl, you guys know that, but um, I like, if you're gonna give me like a rustic feel, just give me like a high-end rustic feel, you know? Um, but back to the main points of the real estate video. The bedroom is very sizable. It's a decent size as a second bedroom uh, for your guests or say you have children or whomever you want. Um, there is closet space behind me as well and I feel like if it is a vacation home or like say like a rental, it's ample amount of space that you need. And then just beside me on the left hand side is the entrance to an ensuite washroom but it's also shared with the large open accommodations in the front. Let's go check out the bathroom. So we're here in the first bathroom, and of course it's just your standard, I always say this, standard sink and shower <laughs> um, and toilet, but it's a good size and I love the high ceilings. I love that, that that's a theme throughout the entire property. It just gives illusion of luxury and just space, you know? Um, it gives me a theme of like the 1800s, some Game of Thrones, some something, and then you just throw in a bunch of luxury fixings and you're like, I'm home. <laughs> anyway, let's go check out my favorite parts, which is the main bedroom. Where, where I would stay. Let's go into my bedroom, y'all. So, you guys know, size is everything, and um, this room is a really, really good size. 
beautiful high ceilings. Everything I said from the last bedroom is just more space in here and more closet space, of course, because you guys know I care a lot about that. Um, but yeah, and I really love how much natural light is coming in from the side of the washroom, which we'll see in just a moment, and um, as well as the main room because there's just windows everywhere. I think that's something that a lot of people don't take advantage of is floor to ceiling windows um, in Uganda. So it's really refreshing to see a property that really understands that. <laughs> Um, I want to go check out that washroom, so let's go look at it. So I'm just picturing this dream bathroom like in this washroom. It is gorgeous. There's so much natural light and even when you look out in this window, all you see are cute little pink flowers, greenery, some wood. It's, it's just a vibe. This whole house is a vibe. So just in front of me, there is a beautiful tub. You have space to put, I would put like a claw foot tub against the stone wall like oh anyway there's a shower rainfall shower toilet and double sink so enough space for you and your somebody and get ready with no no wahala <laughs> and head out to just chill and see these beautiful serene vibes of the Nile so who can picture themselves here with this gorgeous spread of food you're just there in this beautiful living room your children, your friends, your family, just life, living life, chatting, enjoying while just seeing the water. Like, guys, this is a vibe. I said this house was a vibe, I wasn't lying. Anyway, you have a gigantic kitchen behind with lots of space, um, leads out to the backyardish area, and then it wraps around of just greenery and um, so towards the patio. It's, it's so nice here, you guys. So I feel like we need to take a moment to sit on this patio and appreciate the vibes outside. So let's go over there and just get a little comfy. So just beside this property between the Nile and your fence, there is a uh, railroad track and a marine of uh, old boats. It's a little picturesque, it's kind of cute. Um, so you're not just like, you're not on the water, but you're literally, uh, how long maybe? a few meters from the water, it's not that far. Um, so I really like that part. You don't have any neighbor right behind you. It's just a road, the railway tracks, some grass and the water. As you can tell, right behind me, there's a uh, spiral staircase leading to what seems like a little treat for us. So let's go check out up there. I'm just picturing views, you guys, so I'm so ready. Let's go. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Did I not tell you guys this property has a special little nuggets every here and there? So this one is I think one of my favorites. It's this gorgeous little patio area. There's a solar dish up here, but I just feel like like you can put things up here. I would this would be my little like you know how people have man caves? This would be like my woman my woman patio. <laughs> Anyway, I feel like you guys want to know the specifics, so let me start giving you some um, information about the property. So like I said earlier, it is on a quarter acre and um, you are you don't have a neighbor bus behind you. It's just the view of the Nile and this property, it goes for $350,000. Remember earlier when I mentioned that it's an investment property, there are five little cottages that actually sit on the property as well. So technically speaking, this can be your getaway home. You rent it out when you're not here and you rent out those little cottages as well. So within the $350,000 that you would spend for all of this, remind yourself that this house actually can be rented out for say $1,200 to $1,500 for the month. And at peak season when there was no COVID and all that, it's actually going for $1,600. Then each of those little um, cottages, there's five, uh, would give you about, let's say about $500 a month each. So that's an additional $2,000. $500 for you to play around with. So I feel like I like I mentioned earlier this year this is a year of us being smarter, you know, working smarter, not harder. And um, this this makes sense. This makes a lot of sense. But anyway, let's go check out the investment property because I think it's so important for you guys to see what they look like because they're super cute. And you know me, I'm all about aesthetics and all that. So with a little bit of glam, you guys, I feel like you can rent it out for more, but I don't know. Don't quote me. I'm not a real <laughs> Let's go check out the investment properties. So we're here at one of the 
top cottages and it just like I said earlier beautiful view I think you guys have now got the point <laughs> that I keep trying to make um, and there's a generous size patio area out here um, all of the properties are one bedroom one bath and then you have a little nook area for like you would have for the desk and a little refrigerator and such. So let's go check out inside here. Um, and just like the main house, she had did an amazing job keeping a really cottagey feel and aesthetic. So honestly, like there's not much work to be done <laughs> once you purchase your ginger home. It's a very generous sized bedroom. You have a decent sized bed. And like I said earlier, enough space for a little table, a chair. Uh, there's a television set, refrigerator. So Standard like hotel room size, a really, really cute shower. I love the whole stone um, and wood aesthetic that's been going on and it's carried within the bathroom as well. Um, an exterior sink and then a toilet. So guys, this property really is something. You literally have a space, you have views, you have income property. <laughs> <laughs> with your investment like what more does it what more do you need <laughs> and not to mention it's very close to many things in town which I'll mention at the next property which is just down the road so let's go head over there <laughs> property number two and I've been told that this is more of um, the usual way that properties in Ginger are set up so they're more like about an acre the size is about an acre so you have more space more greenery um, so I'm super excited to show you this house and because I'm so excited I figured let's start with the outside because there's just so much going on so yeah let's start with the garden all right guys, so we're starting here in the one corner of the property, which is the garden. Um, they are selling, so there isn't anything actively going on in this garden at the moment, but <laughs> uh, there's ample space for you to be able to grow all your fresh things that you want to. I mean, a part of living in Uganda, the perk is fresh foods. So I think this is the cutest little nook over here. I think one of my favorite spots, so I had to show you guys this first. So just behind me, there's the pool. Um, so the pool comes obviously with a pool area. Um, there's a change room area as well and like a stone floor which I think is like a dance floor. Just feel like there's so much space you can have a party over there. It's insane. Love, love, love it. And then right beside it is the main house so we're going to go check that out right now. here at what was originally the main house and like the previous property it is an investment property so you can make your monies back y'all we all about the moolah here um, anyway <laughs> so this main house is a two bedroom two bath just unit very breathtaking very airy very all white walls you guys even the purple flowers, it was just calling my name. It's like, Rachel, you, you need to live here. <laughs> anyway, um, so once you come in through the main door, as we are here, you're greeted with a living room area and dining room. So they've used it as a dining area. So I just wanted to give you guys the details of this property. So this house is a 1930s home. Yes, it's been here for almost 100 years. So there's a bit of history with it. And I can see the Nile just even from here. So now imagine just the rest of the property. It is absolutely beautiful, very breathtaking and super cozy. So we're now in what's the living room in this area beautiful airy just very similar to the last area we were in and just to the left hand side of me there is a bathroom as well so a shower and a toilet and a little laundry so you have all your amenities in this property you don't need to go far to do anything um, what I love is the use of space in this house there's a little bar area super cute they even have a bookshelf in here and you can just see the pool from here as well so if you have kiddos or you're having a party or something you can see everybody and everything without having to worry about anything you know that's the best way to live <laughs> I want to go check out the kitchen because I love how they actually did it and um, they used a lot of local materials so let's go check that out and then the other bedroom and the guest house. So we're here in this gorgeously huge kitchen. Love space, just love the high ceilings, the beams and I love that they kept the same theme going so the beams up you have this gorgeous timber countertop that goes throughout so the aesthetic is just here. I'm just loving the houses in Jinja. Like, it's 
Did everyone take an interior design class? <laughs> That's what I need to know. Because I am loving, loving, loving it. So this particular um, main house is actually renovated at the same time as them building the extra bonus house, which we'll check out at the end of this little segment. Um, so I just want to talk about the rest of the house real quick for you guys. There's a master bedroom with an ensuite washroom just to the left hand side. And as you exit to the back, there is a guest house. So they actually used it as a homeschooling house um, back in the day before they decided that they were gonna move. But now it is actually another rental property. So this main house is rented on its own and you actually can get a rental income for both of them collectively at about $1,000 to $1,200. Um, but I think 1200 to 1400 is usually around average in this area um, And that other area the little nook is kind of like an apartment style So it's a small um, but decent sized living room a bedroom and a bathroom all ready for you to rent out and make some money You know what I mean? What's really cool too is that it has a separate gate so you can they can drive in your guests of your guest house um, with their own area so Technically speaking, the entire property can be divided and you can make your money um, on this side or both sides or live on one side, whatever you want to do. I love properties that give you options um, where you can make your money, live in it, get views and live your best life. <laughs> Another bonus of this property is that there's a solar hot water system. There's a backup generator and there are inverters. So you never have issues with power. Um, I don't know if power goes off a lot in Jinja, but I know that's a big concern of ours in Kampala, just at random, at a whim. So that's something that's solved, which is pretty dope. So it's really important to know what's in the area when you are going to purchase. Uh, so there are two international schools in the area. There's Horizon International School and there's a Kira Montessori School as well. Um, the main town apparently is a five minute walk. I don't know if it's a speed walk or a slow walk, but it's a five minute walk. Um, there's bars, restaurants, there's um, grocery stores. Literally everything that you need is just around the corner. So we're really in like the downtown area, which is really, really dope. And now I want to get into what you guys are probably wondering, the price, the best part. So just to recap, we are on a full acre. There is a main house with an addition in the back, the guest house. Then there's also a second guest house, which was kind of like a man cave. Um, there's a pool, a garden, a huge, huge, just so much amount of greenery. It's beautiful. Flowers, all of that. With that being said, all of that included, it goes for 340,000 USD. And you literally, of course, have views of the water. So something to consider. So let's go check out this little addition house, which is, I, I would say would be now the main house, but it is the man cave slash main house. Um, before we go check out the rest of the property. So we're just gonna check out this extra addition, which is considered the man cave. But guys, I really love how modern it looks. I love the staircase. I just, I'm not a wood person, but I feel like when you have white walls and then you have like a soft wood color, I'm okay with them vibes. I'm okay with them aesthetics, you know? Um, so this particular addition is a one bedroom, one bath. So let's go check all of that out. Let's go. So now we're inside. Okay guys, I'm, I don't even know where to start. Let's start with the staircase. <laughs> love the timber staircase, love the way that it was designed. It's very modern, yet very functional, which I like. Um, behind me is the kitchen, open concept kitchen, very generous size, especially if maybe Ginger isn't your main house, but it is a, a vacation home or whatever. It's a very decent size for that. There is one washroom just to the right hand side. Um, just under the staircase, so there's a little nook, which I would consider like an office nook or a bar. <laughs> and then there's a bathroom and it has your shower, your toilet, and your sink. And just in front of me is a very decent sized uh, living room. And my favorite part is that I'm really liking the stone aesthetic that's going on in Jinja, but I like that it's paired with an open concept. So it doesn't make it feel dark or dungeony. It really opens up the space that makes it look so aesthetically pleasing yet warm, oddly enough. Um, then I love that there's so much glass, there's light pouring in. There's uh, sliding doors all around me and above you have your beams, white walls and uh, more lights. There's just so much light and I think that's so important, especially if you have views of the Nile, you could just wake up every day and see the Nile, 
No forcing, no having to force open a window, no, um, what is it, our burglar bar uh, barriers and whatever, like it's just open concept. It's breathtaking, honestly. So the staircase leads up to the one bedroom. So essentially it is actually a loft style um, a property and Apparently I was told you can actually add a washroom up there, which is something I think I would do. I just can't imagine coming down every time to use the washroom. But these are all additions and quick fixings that you can do actually at a very decent price in Uganda. So it's not something that you need to like uh, dwell over or anything like that like you would abroad. So I saved the best for last. You guys, obviously views are the most important part. And what better way to see the views than through a tree house. Let's go check this tree house out. I think it's so cute. Um, it is a bit older because their kids are now older they're like 18 so we're gonna go carefully up here and see what we can check out of the Nile let's go okay <laughs> However, it's been divided into plots. So they're 50 feet by 100 feet plots that go for $14,000 each. And obviously, if you get more, then the price will be adjustable accordingly. So just to give you a reference point, 50 feet by 100 feet is about an eighth of an acre. So it's not pretty bad at all. After mentioning all that, I need to show you guys these views. Like, I need to have a, the plot that's up here just so I can have panoramic views of Jinja because this is absolutely breathtaking. I know I say that all the time, but like the more I explore Uganda, the more I'm like, whoa. <laughs> so let's take in everything behind me and all the water in front of me. We're facing the source of the Nile and then the Nile River goes towards the right as it you head like through Jinja. So it's just beautiful, you guys. It's really beautiful out here. Okay guys, so we're here at the second piece of land, so freaking dope. We're here at the Itendo Falls, just behind me. Do you see that beauty? <laughs> just a moment of silence. Anyway, it is nine acres. They do not want to split it up. So the owner, just you have to buy all nine. It's kind of dope for like um, a hotel or like a getaway kind of thing. Right just behind me is Wild Waters, just across. So you kind of get the idea. There's 400 meters of waterfront like literally the <laughs> the Nile just there um, so essentially it's twenty seven thousand dollars per acre it is also titled and freehold so literally no problem they recently had an interested buyer so if you're interested in this let Peter know like I said he's at now properties in Jinja I'll leave all the details in the description box and down here for you guys but guys isn't this beautiful breathtaking this is an investment property for sure so we're, we're looking for the money. We're going where the money reside this year, you guys, okay? We're going where the money reside. Anyway, let's go check out the very last property we have. Okay, guys, so I know I keep saying each house is my house, but this actually is my house, and you'll understand why when we get inside. Um, my aesthetic wrapped up in a pretty Ugandan bow is this house. It's so cute. It has a Spanish Mediterranean vibe going, um, going along throughout the house and just views. Every single window has a view. Like how, how, how Sway, tell me. <laughs> so basically there, it's a duplex. So there's a, um, a top, a bottom, and then there's actual boys quarters as well, which is literally like the cutest little cottage did any of you guys grow up uh, reading the book um the little um the little lady who lived in a shoe that is exactly what the house is it's so cute it's so cute but anyway enough rambling let's go check out this beautiful home let's go guys Okay guys, I'm gonna try and compose myself and make it through this video or this part of the video, but like I just can't get over the lake view. 
anyway, um, so there, like I mentioned earlier, it's a duplex, so there's a top and a bottom. The bottom is a four bedrooms with three baths, and the top is two bedrooms with two baths. So we're gonna check out the bottom here. There's a very sizable terrace, but even this is small in comparison to the one up. But anyway, let's just get into this one. And the slidey door, look at this. <laughs> So we're here in this cozy living room. It is so sweet, adorable. I can just see, well, I'd have breakfast on the terrace, but just even waking up. Um, all the beds are sofa beds, so there's enough space even for more guests. So think of it from an investment point of view. There's a lot of space for you to be able to rent this out and make good income. But we'll get into money in just a minute. What I also love is that she's a very into design and decor, so the whole house is so well put together. It's black and white vibes. You guys already know from my house tour, that's my aesthetic. And um, even from the floors to the ceilings to the, um, the framing on the doors and the windows, everything makes sense together. And that makes such a difference when it comes to pricing your investment property. So I think that should be appropriate for another video, but um, something to mention just to keep in mind because a lot of people have investment properties and they find that they sit empty in Uganda and this one does not. This is rented to celebrities and rich people only. <laughs> and I'll, you'll understand why later when I tell you the pricing. <laughs> anyway, let's check out this beautiful kitchen. So you're here in this kitchen, it's just so cute, you guys. I feel like the lady who lives in the shoe. <laughs> Ah, what? Well, anyway, so like I said, she went with a black and white vibe, which is really dope. Um, there's a lot of counter space as well. Literally from the island to behind me under the sink, there's cabinetry space on the left. There's a whole lot of counter space on the right as well. So it gives you an idea of what you, you can fit here with um, yourself, your family, friends, um, investment, whatever. This, this property works for so many different things and it's really dope. Um, I think it's time now to go check out the bedrooms. So there are four bedrooms in this particular unit on the downstairs and um, all of them have an ensuite bathroom attached. Two of the bedrooms have two beds in them and then one of them actually has a crib, the one right on the right hand side beside me. And the other two have just one bed. So that's something to consider that there's so much space to work with within the bedrooms and that's something to remember when you want to see this as an investment property. <laughs> On the left hand side of me, there's a bathroom that works for the common areas. And this bathroom also has a washing machine, something that's super important and I feel like is a must when you live in Uganda, just anywhere in general. So like I said, there's so much space down here to consider for families, girls weekends, bachelor weekends, bachelorette weekends, whatever it may be. There's, it's just, it makes sense. So I feel like you can never run short of someone to rent here, especially after this decor. Like guys <laughs> anyway let's go check out upstairs and what it has to offer guys i had to save honestly every house keeps getting better and better but this is like i had to save the best for last you know what i mean <laughs> anyway this is the most humongous terrace on the nile ever well okay from what i've seen so far it is a gorgeous up here i feel like it could be a restaurant up here you could do so much with this space there's even treadmills there's even a little like a bike imagine working out to just looking at the nile and the hills like guys like i said if there's a house for me it's this one okay remember i said that <laughs> anyway so in, the, in this terrace there's um space for you to be able to sit out and chillax on these uh, gorgeous sofas there is also an outdoor cooking space because she's from spain she kind of was um, envisioning uh, property that she had there and brought that concept to Uganda and it's all white in here and you just have this cute little um, area to cook so you have your cooker and then on the other side you have your sink to wash up and everything and some cabinetry space underneath and then inside which we'll go check out in a second has space for like your glasses and all of that so up here is one bedroom one bath and it's a lot of space, you guys. It's, this is just the cutest thing. Let's just go check it out, okay? Let's go see it. <laughs> so as I mentioned earlier, this um, space up here is one bedroom, but because of the ample amount of space in the living room, all of these sofa beds can be turned into beds. So basically the space up here is usually used for honeymoons, for girls' trips, and like bachelorette weekends. So both spaces are still very feasible. It's just downstairs is more family friendly. Up here is more luxe and pop and moe bottles, you know? <laughs> anyway, she did a beautiful job. I love the windows and how it has a circle application. You can just push through. 
literally these huge floor to ceiling glass doors listen you can do anything in uganda as long as you have the eye if you have an eye you can transform any space so don't let anybody tell you that they can't do certain things okay <laughs> but anyway let's go check out the bedrooms because i want to show you guys how much space there is and how cute it is to make the money she makes but i'll get into that after we check out the bedroom let's go inside of me there is a bathroom like she did such a good job with the timely everything matches and i think my favorite part is that there's a floor to ceiling mirror can more people put that in rentals because today i didn't know what i looked like until i got here okay <laughs> anyways huge bathroom and then a huge bedroom with enough space for whatever size bed you want to put in here and a little nook let's go just sit in the nook and talk about prices so this house is about 340 square meters when you include the top and the bottom and the boys quarters but it's literally a cute little cottage it sits on three acres so it's humongous and the price is negotiable but it seems like she wants to sell at around seven hundred thousand dollars and you get everything the acreages which means you can build more of these beautiful properties behind me even beside their space i feel like you could put like a pool there or something you are literally at the nile as you guys can tell you're just at the water there's no one in front of you i don't even know if there's anyone beside you this is just so dope in terms of this as an investment property um she actually rents it out at, i was just there like whoop child people are making money in covid don't let anybody fool you <laughs> So, um, each of these on their own for a one week rental is about $2,500, but they do go for $300 a day, but you have to book minimum three days. So you obviously see the bank is coming in. If you want to do a month, it goes for about $5,000 for the month. So obviously you would negotiate if someone takes it for more. Um, that's not bad at all, guys. That is not bad income at all. guys i wasn't lying this is literally the cutest home i'm not even joking um so it's a cute little kitchen a modest size but enough space for a couple because it's not like you're having a bunch of people living in this house um a cute little area for just a couch a little um a reading nook area with the two sofa chairs guys this is so adorable this is definitely like giving me honeymoon vibe getaways or you want to rekindle your love <laughs> For each other i don't know what you couples be doing but anyway this is a cute cute place to do all of that and what i love something that she mentioned that i really really swear by is that she was like it doesn't take much to get this kind of decor and design it really does it and that was something i stressed in my home decor video for my house because i literally was like a lot of the stuff is from the market or you can find local people yes you do have to monitor them but you can have something that's so unique like this is giving me cottage vibes in canada but we're in uganda on the on the nile you know what i mean beautiful just beautiful anyway in here there is a bedroom and a bathroom so let's go check that out real quick and that pretty much will wrap up this beautiful house so as you can see in here there's a really large bed i think it's a king size bed so you can get a lot of space in this cute little cottage um lots of light coming in from the window and the door which i find so surprising because it's such a cozy little cottage love the wood beams and how they're painted white above guys is this not my aesthetic i feel like god knew so he even put me in the yellow he was like girl this is your home <laughs> um on the right hand side there's a dresser area so you have um a desk and a mirror and yeah and a really big size bathroom as well but just behind so you guys this this space has been well used well designed oh i just want to stay here for a while you know what i mean who, who, i always say this but who won't buy me this i'm not joking who like who? brush you guys investment properties i brought you guys my luxury and i brought you guys smart more affordable i would say anyway <laughs> properties i feel like we got a lot in this ginger video i feel like ginger maybe where it's happening you know anyway thank you guys so much for watching please remember to subscribe hit the bell notification like let me know how you felt about this exploring ginger video and i think we're gonna leave me here i think i'm gonna stay i think i'm done you guys can find me in ginger thank you so much for watching and i'll check you guys in my next video